Hey y'all, welcome back to Daydream Manor Flower Farm. I'm Dawn, I live in South Louisiana, and y'all, it's a gorgeous day. It is in the 70s, the humidity is in the 40s, the sky is super blue, there's a light breeze blowing. It is one of those days that makes you just want to ditch everything and just be outside, and that's pretty much what I've done. So, <laughs> I came out here because, y'all, I I was like, I am not making a video in that stem shed. I am coming out here. I want to show y'all, because I forgot to show y'all this. I'm calling this now the Fortress of Flowers. Um, I forgot all about it in my last video, so I wanted to catch you up on that. And then let's just do a life catch up real quick. So let's jump in. All right, first things up. I got everything done for the boutique earlier this week. So I have a, a wonderful friend who's also a vendor there who like came in, helped me redo my flower form table. I took over another space. Um, I call it the Manor Mercantile. Um, I put up all of my t-shirts, my tote bags, got that done, redid my entire flower form area. Now got dahlia tubers for sale, glad bulbs. I mean, I did, I have lanterns, all kind of fun stuff. And so we redid that table, got all of that done because my schedule is now like this. And I am having to really hustle with my time management um, and making sure I have my priorities and that I'm scheduling ahead of time because I have to leave in two weeks to go on a work, uh, work trip and it's gonna take me away for a week. And that's when this will start popping. Um, and as soon as I get back from it, I am doing holding a workshop at the boutique for our Mother's Day workshop. So I've got to get all of that stuff done before I leave. So it is. It has been like it, it's been a lot of a lot of balls in the air. So um, and look, I am not complaining. Let me be very clear: not complaining because I am the one who chose to have a flower form and to do the boutique while I have a full-time job. It's, my, it's me. I am the problem. <laughs> but I'm taking care of it. Because, look, I've made this work for five years. I'm going to make it work this year. So, anyway, it is just... I, let me back up a minute. I didn't start to be cheek until this year. So, this is new. Last year, I mean. So, that's new. But it's going to be fine. So, look. I'll sleep. And I do sleep. I don't know about y'all, but I do sleep well. So, I, I'm good. All right, let's jump into what's happening here on the farm because I want to talk about some things in the high tunnel. Because look, those deckum lilies in the crates are looking amazing, and I think they're probably going to be ready to go maybe when I'm gone. So, Mr. Daydream's about to watch Dave Downing's <laughs> bulb school to see, to, to understand what he needs to do. So, of course, but. They look amazing. The Lysianthus is looking great. I've got to get them netted this week. I didn't get to it last week. So that has got to be the priority tomorrow. I've got to get that done before they get too tall. And then I just have a mess. So I've got to get that done. Um, the sunflowers in there are looking good. They've put on some good height. Um, I've got the dahlia tubers in. Haven't seen any signs of life yet. So I'm just kind of just kind of peeking. So we'll see. Hopefully this week will be the week. Um, I've got my perennial bed done. I put in some rose, some bare roses in there. So, and I don't know if they'll be a good cut. They're the Floribunda, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't know anything about roses like that, but I'm going to try them. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, I will use the flowers that bloom on that to dry for my flower fetty. So, it'll work. Okay, on to this. Okay. The Fortress of Flowers. So, one morning I got up, I look out the window, where I had ranunculus, I no longer had ranunculus. Came out here, something had tapped, just cut them all down. Just like, it looked like somebody just, they just went through and just popped off every bud. So, we left it alone for a couple of days because I was like, let me just see what's going to happen. And I get around, because it was like, I'm like, oh my God, it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet right now. I get around to the other end of the field a few days later and something had just started nibbling on some of those buds. I'm like, no, 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 no. We, we're not sending out an advertisement that we have an all-you-can-eat buffet here. We gotta figure this out. So Mr. Daydream was like, well, look, let's just fence it in. Um, I'm gonna order this fencing. I found this green fencing because normally here you can find orange fencing everywhere, the construction fencing. This is actually called snow fencing. I guess people up north use it. I don't know, but it's the right color. So. 
um because i didn't want that bright orange i mean if you look you can see sometimes in the background over here you'll see cars passing this is the highway up here you can see back here you can really can't make out what this is but you you can see the fence you can see the high tunnel you actually can see the trellises that the peggy martins are on so i didn't want bright orange um and yes it is kind of about the aesthetics of it too so he ordered this fencing it came in and he's put it up he still needs to work on it some um but this is what i think was eating i think it was deer um supposedly deer don't eat on ranunculus but i'm gonna beg to differ right now because nothing else has gotten in here since he's put this up um if it was rabbits i feel like they would go under so i, I just feel like it's deer so hopefully this is going to protect them um talk about frustrating right i mean i didn't have this problem last year um i had something like my first year maybe second year nibbling in the other field but not anything major this year was a uh, is an issue so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to run some film actually he mr sun mr sunshine <laughs> he would die <laughs> <I don't, laughs> mr sunshine okay mr daystream <laughs> um he actually wants to take the same he's got enough fencing and he wants to do it around the high tunnel as well so we may end up doing that because i was like can we just run a fill some filament down it i i don't know because i don't want anything in there and with the sides stay up because it's stay it's hot here so i don't want to take any chances there so that's next on the list the ever-growing list plus the rest of the beds need to be built but we're fine we're in a good place um i am like this morning when i came out and looked we've been in the 30s 40s in the morning I mean, we were in the 60s and 70s last week, so it's just been crazy. But I think this little bit more of cool weather has really helped my cool season flowers. Like, my status looks amazing. Honeywort, y'all know my, my love for honeywort, is putting on so much, just so much um, length. It looks great. I've got some calendula that is coming up, so it's getting close. And I've got, now I've got to go figure out when am I going to start my bouquet subscriptions, the deliveries for that because I do those every other week and I have another trip in June I have to go on. So I, I gotta go figure that out. That's part of the logistics that I gotta figure out this week end. Um, but I'm just getting it done. Y'all, and I will tell you, the other morning I got up and I felt like my body, okay, we're gonna talk about the Foreman Over 50 thing. I felt like my body belonged on an 80 year old maybe a 90 year old i don't know i was so stiff getting out of bed and so i am focusing on more water more water because when the weather's cool like this i don't do a good job of drinking water and so i'm trying to focus on more water up in my collagen in my coffee in the morning so all the things anyway so that was just something like this week has just been i don't know i was just god I just felt like, I really felt like I was 100. I don't know, it was just rough. So, trying to figure that piece out too, right? Aging is great. Um, what else? I'm trying to think, because as soon as I turn this thing off, I'm gonna be like, dang it, I didn't tell them that. Because you know, I feel like y'all are like my friends. Um, I talk to y'all regular. Some of my friends I don't talk to as much. That's funny. Anyway. Um, Oh, I don't, the direct seated bed, eh, I got a few signs of life, I'm just, I'm just gonna roll with it. Having to go out on this trip right now just puts me in a bad predicament because if I have seedlings in there, that means Mr. Daydream has to take care of them. He's got a lot on his plate. I don't really want to burden him with that, so I, I don't want to have anything started in there. In fact, what I have in there, I've got to get, um, that'll come out in a couple of days to go hardened off because my plan is I can get them hardened off, put them in the ground the morning I leave. <laughs> That's what it looks like. I have sunflowers over there and if I've timed it right, I'm hoping the morning that I fly out, I'm gonna put sunflowers out. So I don't fly out until later in the, after in the afternoon. So it'll be fine, I hope. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, so it's all about timing. And it's all about having a plan it doesn't really matter <laughs> i mean y'all know what is it what does that say in the best laid plans but it's fine you got to be adaptable anyway all right i am going to go inside because i need to go grab my seed bin 
that is one of the things I am going through and when I have time I'm trying to go through it now so I have some seeds that are probably two years old maybe even older those are out I got to get rid of all of that so I can take a good inventory because again the, the rule of thumb is when what when it's blooming is when you should be ordering your seeds so right now I know I have no more honeywort seeds that's on the list to order so I'm gonna go get my cool seed bin kind of go through it clean it out get rid of those older seeds because the older the seed is the less germination you're likely to get so I want to get rid of all of those make that list plus I've got to make my tulip list for next year again that's already here I've got to make the decision about ranunculus because I will make that order at the same time I mean the ranunculus that are in the high tunnel I'm telling y'all all you have to do is go threaten them go threaten your flowers that's what I did to those and I'm like not growing you ever again that ain't happening done mm. and now they look beautiful they are growing stem length is great so I think I have unlocked the secret to being a good flower farmer you just go tell them you're not growing them anymore and they start growing well I mean that's I was even looking at my stock the only reason I grew stock this year because it's a one and done and I really just don't want to do those anymore besides sunflowers it looks good it looks better this year than it has any in compared to all the other years so I don't know I'm gonna tell them all they're on the cut list <laughs> all right I am gonna get back to work I need to go clean up some of the mess over there I'm in my perennial bed with that mountain mint I'm trying to contain it a little bit better so we will talk again soon I hope you have a fantastic week for those of you who are starting your seeds right now yeah that is so crazy to me that some it, it's just when you start thinking about the different environments right like it is so crazy um, but I know a lot of you are just starting seeds good luck I wish you 100% germination. Um, for those of you who are in my climate, let's keep cheering for those cool season flowers, y'all. <laughs> and hopefully getting some blooms here soon. So, hope y'all have a wonderful week, and I'll chat with you soon.